What's up everybody? Welcome back. This is of course your host Light here and today finally we're going to be doing a guide on how to run your own node through a VPS. Two weeks ago we talked about how node runners were making thousands on node rewards and on airdrops by running their own nodes. And there's three ways to run a node. The most difficult and the hardest way is to run the node by yourself on your own computer. The computer needs to be good enough and it has to have a good enough internet connection and all the hardware specifications needs to be met. And obviously the computer needs to be on 24 seven. So this is the most tech savvy option. And a lot of people just do not have the resources or the electricity or the internet to basically do this. And that is why a lot of people are opting out to a VPS service, which is basically hosting your own node online. So basically you're just paying and setting up the configuration and then you're good to go and you don't even need to do anything basically most of the time outside from like occasional updates depending on what node you're going to be running and the last option is actually one click nodes this is the most basically easiest way to do it there are a couple of different services out there like mint air node ops nerd nodes and rapid node and all of these four services basically allow you to deposit a certain amount of money and then they will run everything for you. But the only negative to these is, is that this is more expensive compared to running your own VPS. And secondly, there's usually limited amount of nodes that are being sold throughout their service. And it's also going to be having a limited selection of different nodes. So for example, we are running a Zora node today and on rapid node service, there is no option to run a Zora node or we have nerd node. They don't have Zora either. Node ops actually does have Zora. So there's a limited availability and usually the ones that are listed on all of these websites basically are very farmed out like Tyco nodes. There's a lot of them, thousands probably. So once there's a lot of nodes out there, there's a high chance that, well, the airdrop might be diluted or the devs will not consider doing airdrop at all. So that's important thing you need to understand about these one click node services. I will have a website, I mean, on my link to my own article, which will have a listing of a lot of these services out there, VPS services, etc. And you can look through these and find the best one for you. So one of the things obviously we need to understand first is to look into the hardware requirements of running that specific node before we do anything. And this is the conduit node, which is the one that is being used on Zora. And it does require 16 gigs of RAM and SSD drive, 200 gigabytes. So in case you're running your own computer, it cannot be a normal hard drive. It has to be an SSD. Well, these two requirements are not actually too bad. It needs to be understood that I don't really prefer running anything on my own PC. There's so many reasons for that. I don't want to be because once you're running multiple nodes, it becomes very troublesome. And usually like every project you're going to be running, like usually we have right now EVM based nodes and we have Cosmos IVC based nodes, which we're kind of farming right now, like Babylon and Saga and uh, well, you know what we're talking about. I'm going to be adding a list obviously on our website on a lot of the nodes that can be run right now. And the configuration is mostly the same. Once you've done it once, it's going to get a lot easier on the second time and the third time because it's almost identical, at least on the EVM networks. So usually when we are talking about like these nodes, this is for the Tyco. It gives you a pretty precise hardware requirements, how many CPUs you have, how many RAM, how much storage space, and obviously the download speed. These four metrics are the most important. Usually you want to go with the recommended because in case, in case you get fucked over, you might be disqualified for the airdrop if you're noticed like having problems and stuff like that. Now, in terms of the VPS services, there are a couple of different options. We are going to be using Contabo because Contabo is the one that I'm most familiar with. And also it is the node that basically a lot of people use. That's not an argument that it's good because a lot of people use it. There are a lot more options, which may be actually cheaper than Contabo. 
and I do recommend going throughout the list in the description and in my article for looking for those different options because also Contabo does not have crypto payment method. So some people do want to pay in crypto and that's why these one click nodes are very good because they do allow crypto payments for example so most of the time you're going to be using this cloud vps this second plan of vps actually it's cloud vps 2 six cpu cores 16 gigs of ram because that was the requirement there in some cases you can even run two nodes on this vps2 if you would be taking a vps3 it might be actually better for you if you want to run two different nodes on under one vps i have not done that so that that's that's an option but what i'm saying is it might be more cost affordable to run through vps3 for example here if you want to run two or multiple nodes but you have to always look into the specifications on what are the requirements so you're going to be choosing cloud vps2 and you're going to be getting discounts based on how many months you're going to be doing and i want to do take three months and the reason for that is obviously we could do 12 months but i do believe zora is going to be airdropping within this year so 12 months is actually not that of a good of option with a lot of these node options depending on if you feel like they're going to be releasing this year definitely do not take 12 months and yes so we're going to be taking three months I'm going to be choosing European Union because it's the cheapest option here. I could take the UK, but that's going to be casting more. I don't want that. Also, running on US might get you disqualified for airdrops because, well, they don't probably pay attention on where the nodes are run, but they might do KYC and US servers might be out of that thing. We're going to be doing storage of 400 gigs. We don't need, this was for, because this is, yeah, this is not SSD. So we're going to take free one and then we are going to be choosing from apps and panels docker in some cases it's going to be ubuntu 2004 that has been run on some of the other ones like when i set up my zynode that was one that was recommended on that specific guide but we are going to be choosing docker for a lot of these nodes guys you're going to be able to find out specific guide for a lot of these nodes that you're going to be running as long as they're more the popular ones and then we're going to be setting out the password do not lose this password guys do not lose this password i lost it already once okay that's going to be my password object storage we don't need one no private networking ip address these should be okay like this these unmanaged no 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 let's let's do that yes so usually these posts usually i'm gonna link this also in the description there are multiple zora node guides here specifically and these should be the basic things here and here we're gonna be adding out my information i'm gonna be blurring this obviously Okay, so now I have logged into Contabo's account and I'm going to be choosing PayPal. Here is the total sum in terms of costs. There's some type of a coupon code that you can add in, but it's like basically is blacked out for me. I don't know how to basically add one, but if you find something, try to add in and maybe you will be getting a, some type of a discount on this price. It should be 35 euros, 0.25, and this includes three months which is probably a good time for a lot of the drops that are currently going on. Three to five months, I would say, because I think we're going to be expecting a lot of these drops by latest getting around on summer. So actually setting up the VPS on Contabo side might take some time. I don't know how it is with some other services on the list, but in the meanwhile, we need to get a couple of things for our Windows PC. So one of the things you will be needing is Git, this can be downloaded for here for Windows. Pretty self-explanatory. You can download the 16-4-bit or the 13-2-bit. In my case, it was 64. And then just click install. And it doesn't really have any like hard things to basically do there. And then we are going to be needing an SSH client. So this is basically what connects us to the VPS on Contabo service. Um, I got two of them both in my PC right now. Here's Putty and here is Bitvice. The Bitvice interface, as you can see, 
is a lot more clear, a lot more modern. There's some other options there, but most what I've seen on videos by other people has been Putty and Bitwise. I do recommend Bitwise because in my opinion, it is much more simpler. So get these downloaded and install them. I have all the links obviously down below, and then we can start actually setting up the node. After the node is basically up on our Contabo, we can create an RPC through an alchemy. And this is completely free to do. It does have some paid options, which you can explore if you want to. We're going to be choosing Ethereum and Ethereum mainnet. And then we're going to be choosing a name we like, doesn't matter. Um, just going to be choosing this and we're going to be creating an app. And then you're going to be getting an API key for this. We're going to be reading this HTTPS thing later on. And now, now that we have our RPC data, it's time to move into the second phase, which is actually launching up the terminal through our Bitwise client, or if you're using Putty, you put your IP that you got from Contabo or other service to this host field, port should be 22 and username should be root. So three fields, then go into login put in the password that we created on Contabo earlier. And this should basically log us into the actual platform and there should be a pop-up coming out. And now we are on the phase where we're gonna be posting a lot of these lines of code into the actual terminal and it's doing a lot of installing. It's mostly just waiting and pasting the next line in. It's pretty straightforward process. And just to repeat again, do not run a Sora node. It's not something that I recommend doing. It was a bad pick for the video. I should probably done Shardium or something else, but it was a bit of a hassle to get this working because there was an extra line of IPC thing that I add, needed to add in the very end of the video, which made it basically work out with the latest updates. But this is the, probably the most kind of hardest part of the thing because there might be lines of code which are giving you errors it's not downloading something or doing this or that and you just at that point have to go into specific discords to ask for help basically to get it fixed out that's how i did it and that's how you should be proceeding in case it doesn't go alongside with with a lot of these existing tutorials and guides that are going on at this point Okay, now that we have inserted all the codes into the actual terminal, it should look something like this. This is the node running here at the moment. And here on Alchemy also, we are seeing progress that the RPC is being used. We got like success rates here, median response, how many requests there have been. This is a good way to basically analyze what's going on with the node. Is it online, etc.? And obviously some other projects have their own dashboards and they may not use Alchemy so that Instances are different from each other, but as I kind of already alluded earlier, do not run a Zora node. It's a lot of hassle and uh, it took me a couple of tries to actually get it running. And we're going to be doing an actual node list on the AirDrop post that we have been working on. So there will be a node sale style of a list where you can actually look into the nodes that you can run. It's work in progress right now, but we are going to be adding entries to it. And obviously in my website, there's going to be a list of all of these one click node services that you can basically run and et cetera. And in order to basically close this thing down, we're gonna be doing the following commands. So that is um, control A plus D, and then we're gonna be taping exit. And here, there we go. And it should be still running out um, despite us closing it. So unless it's going to be going into zeros, but you can obviously inspect these things at Alchemy tab, but, uh, that bits my video coming to an end. I'm not going to make it any longer than it is. And I will try to help people out on the comment section with questions. I'm not an expert of running nodes. So there's going to be people who are going to be better at this. 
and but I still can give you advice in terms of what nodes you should be running and how long and obviously we got a lot of information on where it's cheap to buy nodes and etc but thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more videos we're definitely going to be doing some type of a other video about upcoming nodes which we should be investing in but thanks for watching we'll be seeing you next time on the next video